Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. So I got an email and kind of bugged me. I wanted to jump on and talk with you guys about it. Like I'm recording, actually I'm in the middle of recording my SQL course that I'm making for you guys. But it, I think it's important. So I wanted to just jump at it and, and talk with you guys about it right away while it was like kind of, um, while the iron is still hot, so to speak. So, so this kid just emailed me, you know, like I, I, I he, he goes, I, I can't take your course. I can't afford it. I'm a broke 13 year old. Um, and so I, I replied back to him and I said, uh, okay, that's, I won't let you actually even buy my course because I, I know most of you, like most students who are young don't have the money and I don't want you to go in debt trying to pay for the course. Cause how are you going to actually learn if you're worrying about having to pay? But what I did tell him is I hate words like I can't, right? And that's what a lot of people always say, whether it's try them trying to get an apartment or a car or uh, trying to hire somebody or trying to, I don't know, whatever it is that you're trying to do in life. Go out and play pool or <laughs> that's that's what I've been doing recently. So I always say pool. Um, go out to a bar with friends and buy drinks, whatever it is. Using words like can't just handicaps you because like what, what, what do you mean you can't, right? So I responded to him. I said, don't use words like can't. How about, how about teach people programming and you can charge people who, who want to learn programming for you at your, at your school or anywhere near you? How about uh, sell something that you don't need? Like when I was younger, I would sell my video games or... I don't know, sell sell some stupid hacky sack that I had and something some of those things would be three dollars, some of those things would be five dollars, ten dollars, whatever, and it started to add up. And I was able to afford things without having to ask my parents because I don't know, I, I personally always just hated the idea of entitlement. I personally always hated just asking for money um or, or anything really. I just thought like it should really be earned. So you know, if you want to do that, if you have the ego, you know, you have the ego to not ask your parents or anybody for help, like that's good. But then also don't just handicap yourself by saying things like you can't, you know, I, I just never understand what that word means. Like, uh, you know, and I told him that and then he responded back and he said, I wish people at my school wanted to learn, but all of them hate programming. And so then I said, okay, so just go somewhere where people don't hate programming, actually want to learn. And then, uh, you know, then you can charge them and teach them because that's what they need help with. So that's really the answer. Now, I'm assuming the next thing he's going to say is, but I don't know where to find people. And then he's going to stop at that. Well, how about go a little bit further and actually start looking actively where you can find people like that who need your help? It always just gets to, you get an objection, then question it, then go deeper. Then you get an objection, then question it, and then go deeper till you get to the heart of it. And you'll realize most of the times the answer is a lot simpler than you guys make it out to be. You guys just shut your brains down to a, a possible solution. And I'm sorry, I'm not saying you guys, I do this thing more than anybody else. So I should be the first one to blame. I'm just a little bit passionate about it. I'm sorry for my energy on this question, um, but that's just how I feel it's something that resonates with me because I think I have been in that kid's boat for a long time. And that's why I'm I'm having this reaction to reading that. Like when I was 12 years old, I remember uh, we were trying to get this game called Command and Conquer General Zero Hour. And I don't know if I should say this, but we were trying to download it, BitTorrent. Um, and we got the, like, back in those days, the internet sucked. Internet was complete crap. Like it was really bad. So when you had to download something, it would take you months to download something. Like now if I tried to download something, it would be very quick. Also now I don't use BitTorrent because I started my own business and I know how much it would hurt me if nobody paid me and went around it. So out of that respect and also I want these companies to do better so then they can make better updates and I can use their software in a better way. Then I also get customer support and whatever. So uh, whatever, useless tangent. Going back to the story, 
I got the game, Command Conquer. Uh, oh no, no, I'm sorry. We didn't get the game. We didn't pay for it. We wanted to just download it. Okay, it was me and two of my brothers, and they were adults at this point. Okay, we had the money. We had the money. Like nobody doesn't have fifty dollars, especially if you're in the United States. Okay. But we just wouldn't buy that game, and we never thought about how we could earn that money to buy that game. We never came up, we never brainstormed those solutions. But we brainstormed how can we save and how can we like hack it and go online and all these crazy places and download a crack from here and download a key where key gen generator from here and make it all work and make the .dll files work and really went through crazy pain. Waited over one and a half months to get the game and the game that I was probably most passionate about in my entire life once I got it I didn't even care I did not even care like I had lost my passion for it so guys I like if, if you're going to take something away from this just please like don't use words like I wish because you can and you don't have to wish and you don't have to dream you don't have to live in a fairy tale land whatever it is that you gotta get or you want you know you don't have to sacrifice your child's education because you think you can't afford it if you just stop for us if you just turn that switch off for a second the can't the word the can't and you just go deeper and instead of going, I can't afford it to how can I afford it? You'll be able to take your child to a better school where they can get a higher quality education. You'll be able to take yourself out to a party, spend lavishly, have a good time. Um, I don't know, whatever, whatever things are important to you guys, you'll be able to do a lot of them without having to hold back in everything in life like I, I would go to college I would go to UIC and a lot of my friends they wouldn't even like I, I liked playing pool I liked going bowling there I liked eating there I liked going to the gym there but they couldn't come to play pool with me because they didn't have um, the money and they never thought to themselves how can I make more money they just would say I don't have the money I can't afford it and when I would tell them how you can make more money they would just shut me out like for whatever reason um, and some of us would go to play pool, uh, but the only friends who were coming to do that were the ones who already had a job or whatever. Then another thing that they would have difficulty with is if we try to go to the gym because they're not paying for the gym membership and because they don't want to spend money to eat there. So it's like all these constraints and all these things that they're kind of just giving away in their life. And I don't know. That's just... Like, I, I don't know. I just don't think it's the right way. And he actually just responded. He said, okay, I'm, pro I'm reading it live, so I don't know how this is going to go or what I'm going to say. But finding someone at my school that wants to learn how to program is hard. I know some year 10, I know some year 10 students that want to learn programming, but I'm really shy and they most likely won't pay me. Also, I'm still learning Python and don't know what to teach if I find someone that wants to learn. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's talk about it. I love it. I love it. Learning. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. He says he's shy and they most likely won't pay him. So a little little bit of it is now about self-esteem. Okay. So a shy and they most likely won't pay me. Um, I don't know what to teach. That's an imposter syndrome. I've talked with you guys about it. So a lot of people have that. Um, I don't know what to teach. I don't know if I'm an expert. Can I teach it? Guys, I'm right here. I'm, I'm the living example of this. The living example. I am, I don't have 30 years of experience. I don't have 20 years of experience. I haven't worked with Google. I haven't worked with Microsoft. But I am here. I help you guys out. I, uh, I am able to make you guys learn fast enough. And that's good enough for me. And that's good enough for you. So for him, it, it's the same way. He doesn't need to be the ultimate expert, right? Like he could teach somebody who's just a little bit behind him. Now it's the, the fact of finding that person. But his other objections, I'm shy and they most likely won't pay me. Okay, so 
that's another one of those things that happens to people. They just think that they shouldn't be paid or they don't deserve to be paid enough or they're shy and they just have these presumptions that people won't pay them. Look, again, if somebody has a pain and you're all, if you have pain, you're getting a headache, you might go to the far, CVS pharmacy and you buy Advil, right? Just like that. If somebody is actually having trouble and you can actually legitimately help them, right? Well, why wouldn't they pay you? Like, like if they don't have money, okay, I understand. But it makes sense if, if they really want, if they want to learn and you can help them, like they'll pay you, right? So that's, again, one of those things. And shy and most likely, like that's something I want to talk with you guys about more. This video is getting longer. Maybe I'll just stop it here because I'm going to go back to making the sequel course. But this part kind of irks me, shy and most likely won't pay me. Like it, it really comes down to the psychological aspect of it. Even, even with jobs, when they give you a choice to ask for money and ask for more money, like people are actually physically, they have pain. Uh, they did some study and they found out that the physical pain that you have uh, when you get a lot of emotional pain, the same pain center in your brain, the one that detects physical pain and gives you alarm, that same thing kind of goes off in your brain. So some people, when they're asking for money or trying to charge, they go through that and they have that pain. So when they ask people, how much do you want us to pay you? Most of the times, most of the people will automatically give a much, 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 much lower price than what's expected. So understand that, you know, like if you understand what you're worth and how you can help other people and how much help they're getting from you, put yourself in their shoes and imagine if I was getting this much help, I would be willing to pay. So now that I'm helping this person, doesn't it make sense that I should be paid for what I do? I mean, People make caricatures for people charging $300 an hour, $250 an hour. Those people just are hobbyists. Like one thing I want you guys to do is really brainstorm and think about all the things that you pay for, all the services, all the maybe magazines, subscriptions, Netflix. Like are those things really that useful? Like is Netflix really that useful? You still pay for it. Does it, it gives you enjoyment so it solves a problem, right? That's why you pay for it. In this case, it solves somebody's problem of learning, and that's why they pay for it, right? So, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to continue having a discussion with my good friend here. Um, and, and, yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I am going to stop this, and I will go back to making the sequel, co sequel course, which you should go check out because it's going to be awesome. All right, guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.